It's Advent, and uh, we are preparing for the Feast of the Incarnation, the birth of Jesus, and our celebration of Christmas Day. And uh, we're making our way, and I wanted to just share a few thoughts about Advent as we head towards Christmas. My dad was an Episcopal uh, priest, as many of you know, and he made us wait till the fourth Sunday of Advent to put up our Christmas tree and decorate the house uh, as kind of part of his growing up and tradition. And I remember my grandmother even telling stories about how uh, the Christmas tree was decorated Christmas Eve and that um, they would go to church and come back and then they would open the doors and see the Christmas. And so this sense of waiting, you know, as children, of course, we we waited, we were waiting for Christmas Day and gifts and things like that. But I think that part of what internalized me, inter- was internalized for me, was this deep sense of expectation, uh, which is all part of this waiting and pondering and thinking. Um, I don't want to completely uh, get rid of that sense that this is also a time of reflecting on the year that's passed as we are beginning our new year, an opportunity to ask uh, uh, ourselves, uh, what do we hope for and what are we sorry for? uh, And how do we participate in the incarnation and the coming of God in the world every day, always around us, uh, that uh, the, our faith in Jesus Christ tells us that we're never alone, that darkness doesn't have the last word, that light is everywhere, that uh, God, uh, God promises that we'll be delivered from sin, that all of these themes are so wrapped up in Advent and as we move towards the celebration of Christmas, things that as a child I, I, I could barely fathom, but I knew about in that great sense of expectation. Part of that is just simply to say that living out our lives at home, uh, whether it's with Advent candles uh, and a wreath, uh, or maybe it's by counting down the days with an Advent calendar, these are ways in which we bring into our homes our deep faith, which will cause children and us to ask each other questions and to reflect on life and the meaning of Christ in the midst of our lives and our families and friendships. So I want to encourage you uh, to um, to do this work, to participate in Advent. And one of my favorite Advent colics comes up on the third Sunday of Advent, and that's this. And so I'll just end my meditation with this offering for you. Stir up thy power O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let thy bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be honor and glory, world without end. Come, Lord Jesus, come with grace and mercy and stir our lives and our homes up uh, with uh, your might and your power. I hope that you have a wonderful season of Advent. So many blessings to each of you and to your families and your friends. Mm